So it, it we started le- uh, with the subject pronouns, and then the subject pronouns are. Or Anna, Anta, Anti, Hua, Hia. Okay? And subject pronouns, you start the sentence with them, as, as, as is common in, in English as well. But the, the other part is possessive pronouns. So, for example, you can say, "Ana, Ana, uh, Ana Raja." In English, you would say, "I'm Raja," right? Or, "I'm um, Jamie," or, "I'm um, Joseph." Okay, but to say, "My name is my," is a possession. All right. So you do not use any subject pronouns. And possession in Arabic, it takes, it happens at the end of words. So, if, for example, I'm going to say, "Name." which is ism, this is all different, which is ism, that's name, the word name, mm-hmm. ism, ism. I'm going to say my name. My name is, again, is, is verb to be, there's no reference for it in, in Arabic. So my is a possession, name, we have it, okay. Watch how I'm going to write it. A, S, M, I, S, M. You see where my goes? Goes at the end. S, M, my name. S, M, S, M. This is my. And this is is name. If you start Arabic from right to left, you start English from left to right, but they kind of match <laughs> in the order. Mm-hmm. So is me. You start the sentence with what? With noun, and then second part is possessive pronoun. Noun first. Possessive pronoun second. English, possessive pronoun first, name second. Right? So let's take another example. And I'm just going to use my for now. And then I'll show you the rest. Let's take the word kitab. Who knows what does this word mean? Kitab. Yep. Book. Kitab. Book. And I need to say my book. What is my? How do we refer to my in Arabic? Just from what I did earlier. Is a? Yeah. That's my. So I do book first, kita, and I leave leave this open so I can put my at the end. So this is my book, my book. Noun first, and then possession, possessive pronoun second, and it attach to the word. Okay, so kitabi, kitabi, ismi, hada, hada kitabi, ana ismi, raja. Mm-hmm. So let's take another word with my again. Ustada. What does this mean? Ustada. Female teacher. Us. 
estava. And you need to say my. Uh huh. How are you going to say this one? My teacher. Mm, look, you have to at the end. So, do you have to pronounce it or not? Yes, you do because it's feminine. If you say ustadi, that's going to be my male teacher. So the ta changes to regular ta and it becomes ustadati. 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 Because this ta right here is part of the word. That refers to feminine. So if you're saying my teacher, you have to make sure you refer to your fem female teacher. My female teacher. Ustadati. If it was, if you say ustadi, that's going to be my male teacher. Okay? Ustadati. Ustadati. So let's see the rest of the um, possessives. Possessives. We have ena. So I, if you want to say my, your male, your female, his, and her. Okay? So for my, they all occur at the end of words. So imagine this line is the whole word and then they all occur at the end. My, you refer to it as ye. Yeah. Your as ka. Similar to when I say ismuka, your name. Ismuka Joseph, right? Ismuka Joseph. Ismuki. Your name. Ismuhu. And then ismuha. So ismi, see the letter before um, the letter before yeah, it has a kasra. Ismi, kitabi, ustadati. The letter before ka, it has u ismuka, ustadatuka. The letter before kaf, ki, it has same thing, ismuki, ismuhu, ismuha. I'm going to take words. For example, let's say we get qalam. Do you know what is qalam? Pen, mumtaz. So you're going to take qalam. Any other words that you know? Hmm? Waraqa. Mm -hmm. Paper. Waraqa. Waraqa. Perfect. This one has feminine, so we can practice how to write the tab. So I'm going to say my pen. What am I going to write first, the noun or the possessive pronoun? The noun. So I'm going to write Ka La See the meme? Is it going to keep sukun or what? what is it going to take? Hmm? Meme is going to take kasra. Kalami. Kalami. My pen. For waraqa. Wa. Ra. Ka. Look what's going to happen to ta. It becomes regular ta. What short vowel is, go is it going to take? Kasra, because that's what happens after um, before the ya. So you're gonna say this, you know, pronounce it wa ra ka ti, my paper, wa ra ka ti. Let's do this is for my. Okay, let's do youth male. Hmm, or your your male. Hmm, ka. Ka, la, 
what short vowel is the mim going to take? Because mim is the letter right before the cap. It's going to take? What's this? Dhamma. Qalamu ka. Qalamu ka. For waraqa, wa, ra, ka. What short vowel is the ta going to take? It's right before the calf. Dhamma, again, same thing. Waraqatuka. His ka la mu hu. Kala mu hu. Kala mu hu. His pen. Wa ra ka tu hu. See? These are the short vowels that you put on the letters right before the possession. So you can always keep the same pattern, same pronunciation for all the possessives. Okay? Ka, la, mu, ha. Her pen. Wa, ra, ka. To ha, her paper. Wa ra ka to ha. Wa ra ka to ha. Okay? So that'll be all for the possessive pronouns. And then we're going to do one more. And then I'll give you some practice. Okay? That'll be the last one. So now we're going to do masculine and feminine. As you saw earlier, um, for both possessive and uh, uh, subject pronouns, you takes both masculine and feminine, depending on who you're talking to. So feminine and, 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 and masculine in Arabic has to agree in terms of if you use um, an adjective that is feminine, you have to use a noun that is feminine. Everything should agree. Let me show you this example. So let's take Medina. Medina. Does anyone know what is Medina? City. Montez. Medina. And you want to say a nice city or a beautiful city. Mm-hmm. Beautiful takes feminine as well, okay? Because Medina is feminine. Medina Jamila. Medina Jamila. Medina Jamila. I'm going to keep the same adjective, but I will change the noun. Bait, what's bait? House. Is it masculine or feminine? Does it have some marbuta? No, it's masculine. I'm going to say a nice house. Bait. Jamil. Bait. Jamil. You see? It does not have a tam marbuta because that's masculine, that's masculine. This is feminine, this is feminine. Okay, so feminine and uh, masculine should agree. If a noun is masculine, the adjective should be masculine. If the noun is 
feminine, the adjective should be feminine. Same goes even with subject pronouns. You say I, you say you male, you say you female, everything, any additional information should agree in terms of gender. Okay? So let's take more examples. I'm going to use the word shariah. Street, Montez. Shariah. Let's say, how would you describe street? Huh? Dirty. Shara <laughs> mu ta sech. And because shara is masculine, mu ta sech is masculine as well. Dirty um, street. Shara mu ta sech. Shara mu ta sech. Okay. Let's say I want to describe a chicken. <laughs> could be cooked chicken, it could be delicious, it could be big chicken. Live? Hmm? Live? Cute. Cute, okay. <laughs> could use even Jamila, the same adjective for Jamila. Mm -hmm. So, Dajaja. Is Dajaja feminine or masculine? Feminine. Uh huh. Deja, je, jamila. Or let's say nice. Like kind. Latifa. Deja, je, latifa. Nice. Latifa. Or are you talking about cooked chicken? Deja, je, la vida. Delicious. <laughs> la vida. Any adjective you add to describe the noun agrees with the gender of the noun. Latifa, Dajaja. Do you see any, any, um, do you have any remark about the word order? Okay. In English, what do you say? If you say uh, a, a beautiful city, it's a beautiful City. What comes first? Is the adjective. What comes next? Is the noun. In Arabic, it's the opposite. Noun goes first. Adjective comes next. So be, be very, very careful about the, the order of your sentence. If you're saying a nice house or a beautiful house, house should go first as bait and then beautiful Jamil. Okay? And Tamar Buta, when it's connected, it takes this shape. When it's not connected, it takes this shape. Circled with two dots. And that'll be all for now.